Happy and blessed Thursday, May 6th. Welcome back, everybody. This is the word for you today with Sister Maria Dwyer here out at Community Baptist Church in Santa Rosa, California. Welcome. We have a great devotion for you today, and it is titled Monitor Your Children's Close Friends. <laughs> oh, my kids hated growing up with me. <laughs> That I did, and our scripture for this devotion is Proverbs 1 and 10. My child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. And it reads, if you have children, you'll never have a more important job in life than being a parent. And as long as your children are under your roof, you are responsible to God for them. With that in mind, do these. One. See who influences your child most. Your son or daughter will gravitate towards certain kids for a variety of reasons. These are the ones they hang with. They text them, talk with them on the phone, invite them to the house, sit with them in church, and so on. You can't monitor every relationship your child has, but you need to know the ones who influence them most. Two, get to know their close friends. Notice the way they talk, dress, show respect or a lack of it, and how they play and interact with your family. Don't be afraid to ask them questions about their parents, the church they attend, and if they're old enough, their relationship with Christ. Three, check your child's overnight accommodations. If your son or daughter is invited to a friend's house, talk with the parents and become aware of any activity that might be planned outside the home. Make sure they have adequate supervision. Tell your children you expect them to show courtesy and respect and ask them to inform you if there's a problem of any kind. Four, look out for warning signs. Oh, they'll be there. <laughs> when your child is running with the wrong crowd, chances are you'll observe signs like indifference towards spiritual things, an openly defiant spirit, and an attraction to music, dress, and entertainment you don't necessarily approve of. Isn't that very demanding, you ask? Yes and it's also very loving and protective. So this is just a really good, um, wish I had this to read to my kids <laughs> when they were younger, they're grown now, but oh my goodness, I was relentless about this. Um, and you need to be because you just, you know, you know best. I mean, you get those feelings. Your kids might not, you know, they're not, um, wise enough yet or in tune enough, you know, they just, they're very in the moment and they're not thinking about later. And so, you know, you don't want to potentially put them or let them put themselves in a potentially dangerous situation or one that you, you know, would not approve of people that you don't know. Um, because you just never know. And for me, I grew up in a household that I don't know about y'all, but Hispanic household, men, you don't go anywhere, especially if you have, your parents have not met the parents. So I was the same way, you know, don't even ask me to go anywhere, spend the night, whatever. If I don't know them and I've never met their parents, forget it. Don't even ask me. You'll get in trouble for asking. So um, again, you know, be a part of your children's life. And I would always encourage my kids to invite their friends over to our house instead. You know, that way you can get to know them. And if they're, you know, you get that, you just know, you know, you, you have that sense as a parent and, um, you know, you kind of know by the way the child acts and the more you get to know them, if something comes up and you're okay with it, you know the parents, you like their background, then you can let them go. But I completely agree with this devotion, although my kids probably wouldn't, but that's okay. Um, you know, someday they'll get it. <laughs> so that is your word for you today. Have a wonderful, wonderful night, and we will see you tomorrow.